Hey guys, it's Jordan. So today I decided to kind of follow the whole Pokemon Go trend and do a Pokemon DIY. Also, before I get started, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this. Also, you can enter my giveaway, which is my last video, and I'm giving away a ton of makeup, so go check it out. It's really easy. All you have to do to enter is be subscribed to my channel. Go check it out. I'll leave that link in the description down below, too. So in the past, like, two weeks, the game Pokemon Go just, like, exploded, as you guys probably know. So I thought I would do a Pokemon DIY, and I wanted to make a little Pokeball bath bomb. So if you guys want to find out how to make that, then just keep watching. Okay, so to make the bath bombs, you're going to start by putting all the dry ingredients in one bowl. So I'm adding one cup of baking soda, then a half cup of citric acid, and a half cup of Epsom salt. Then set that aside and put your liquid ingredients into the next bowl. So first I'm putting a teaspoon of water, then I'm adding an essential oil, and I'm just kind of eyeballing it and putting some of that in as much as you want it to smell. Then I'm adding three teaspoons of olive oil, and then you're going to want to mix this up and split half of it into a separate bowl. And you're going to want to do that with the dry ingredients too so that we can make half this batch red. So then with the first half of it, you're going to be really slowly adding your liquid mixture into the dry mixture. So just add a few drops and then whisk it with your whisk until um, it starts mixing in and then you can add a little bit more and keep mixing it until it gets to this kind of consistency where you can kind of play with it with your hands and it'll leave a little mold but also kind of fall out. It's kind of hard to explain but uh, as, as long as it looks like this. And then with your second half of your mixture, you're going to want to add red food coloring to the liquid part and then add it in your liquid part to the dry ingredients again and do the same steps that we did before until it becomes the consistency that you want. Then you're going to need these little round molds so that you can make the bath bomb. And first I'm covering the inside of the mold with some baking soda just so that it doesn't stick. And then in the first half of this little uh, half sphere thing, Thing. I'm putting in the white mixture and then in the second half I'm putting in the red mixture and you're gonna want to overflow this a little bit because when we smash them together we want it to be really packed and tight then just smash it together and so it creates a ball and then you can take it out and it should look like a bath bomb and then what I did was I put it in the freezer right away so it would take shape and harden overnight so after that hardens, you can paint the Pokemon design on the ball. So I'm taking this mica pigment, which is actually just pigmented powder that you can use in soaps. And I'm just adding some of this into a little bowl. And then I'm also adding some rubbing alcohol and just mixing it up until it creates a little paste. And then that's what I'm using to paint the strip around the side of the bath bomb. So I'm just looking at a picture of the Pokeball while I'm doing this so I can see what it looks like. And I just paint a black stripe all the way around and then a circle right in the middle. But I'm making sure that where I draw the circle, there's white in the middle of it. Then I waited for that to dry and your bath bomb is completed and then you can stick it in your bath and it smells really good and it makes your bath water really pretty too. So that was the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed um, and have fun making your Pokeball bath bombs. I just thought it was something pretty cool and unique that you can do if you are a huge Pokemon fan or if you just got into it because of the game that everyone just got. But um, either way, I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, which you can do by clicking this button. Also, you can check out my other videos down below and follow my social media on the sides. And yeah, without further ado, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you all later. Bye!